Hi, I'm Angie Jones, and I'm a Java champion and principal developer advocate at Applitools. I specialize in test automation strategies and techniques. Yeah, so I was a longtime Eclipse user, and I switched over to IntelliJ about 2017. So I'm old school and, you know, I grew up using Eclipse and used it for several years. And then I started teaching um, workshops, technology workshops. So I would teach, you know, different automation workshops or some, you know, advanced, maybe clean coding or something like that. And my students would always ask, can they use IntelliJ instead of Eclipse? And, uh, you know, more and more people started saying this and my development team was kind of switching over to IntelliJ as well. And I was like, what's the hype behind this IDE? You know, it's just an IDE. But, um, you know, I try to follow the trends. And so I moved over to IntelliJ just since most of my students were requesting this anyway. And uh, yeah, I've been using it ever since. Haven't looked back. Um, the very first thing I'm probably doing when I open IntelliJ is collapsing or expanding sections. So, you know, I, I like to have whatever piece of code that I'm actually looking at, um, the only piece expanded, right? I don't want to look at, you know, an entire class or something like that. So I'm usually always um, expanding and collapsing the sections. And so that's probably the first thing I'm doing, like either expanding the whole class to figure out what's going on or a particular uh, method. What I like most about IntelliJ is that it stays up to date with the current trends in Java, even probably more up to date than us developers, right? So when a new preview feature is released, for example, IntelliJ already has support for that. It's mind boggling how ahead of the curve um, this IDE is, but that's great. So that allows me to very easily um, try out new preview features without having to jump through a lot of hoops in order to do so. I think one that I can't live without is the live template. So this is where, you know, you have the code snippets, you can type just a little bit and then it auto completes for you. This is such a time saver, especially in Java, which is a pretty verbose language. Um, so every day I'm typing maybe like S-O-U-T and, you know, that just auto completes the system that out, that print LN for me, which is great. Um, also, I do a lot of live coding and stuff um, in talks at conferences and things. So this is really helpful for that as well. When I have maybe a larger block of text that I want to type out. Um, but, you know, I'm short on time or I don't want to goof up with typos and things. So IntelliJ really, really helps with that. My most used feature would probably be the navigation um, to different lines, right? So as I am maybe working within a method and it's calling to something else, I might click into that call to see what's going on there, but then I need to get back, right? Um, and so I really love the, I think it's command option in the arrow keys. It's one of those things that's muscle memory, but command option arrow keys are control alt um, arrow keys on Windows allows you to get back to the previous place you were. So this is really helpful when I'm working with like lots of files and, you know, going back and forth, I can quickly go uh, to where I need to be. Yes, um, the IntelliJ ID has helped me be more helpful and productive. Um, the code completions, things like that are extremely helpful, but there's a particular plugin that's been really helpful for me. And um, it was released not very long ago. It's a Selenium plugin. And like I said, I specialize in uh, test automation. So I work with Selenium quite a bit. And this plugin has additional features that 
uh, you know, do things like highlight and validate like XPath and CSS selectors, um, things that are just not intuitive to, you know, the human eye or whatever to be able to verify. So it's really helpful to have IntelliJ do those tasks for me. Speeds up my uh, test code. Yes, I um, am really looking forward to trying out the machine learning code completion. I already think that IntelliJ does a really great job with code completion. Um, so I'm really curious to see how that improves with machine learning. And, you know, I'm a tech geek. So, I, you know, you just want to kind of try out these new uh, innovative things as well. So I'm going to enable it today and I'm going to try it out, let you all know how it goes. Thank you.